<laughs> back with Joey as we go through that comprehensive movement quality template that's created more or less to help his body actively recover and earn better end ranges of motion. When we were in the previous videos, we were in a quasi position, which is very composed and compacted. Now we're getting back to more lifelike situations. Out of this particular pattern here, we're looking at the ability to create intentional internal hip rotation in the context of him aligning his posture. And that involves us doing quite a few things, pulling the shoulder blades down and back, keeping the wrists engaged as if you're starting a motorcycle will help promote that shoulder or scapular position. He's earning that hand range of motion where his knee's quite high and from here he's getting stability and now tipping that internal force. This will alleviate pressure that's happening into the lower back sequences, the shoulder girdle, the neck, and now promote more strength into that internal whip position that he needs necessary to create healthy knees and kicks and rotation for his punches and to evade as well. So again, a great way of alleviating a lot of undue impact or pressure that we get from regular training sessions. You can switch legs. While earning those end ranges of motion, so when he goes back to those practices at the dojo, at the gym, he's gonna have more understanding or more control of these positions because he's been there before. He's had the chance to recreating that end range of motion and he's now working on controlling those end ranges of motion. And more or less, it just decompresses the joints that are under a lot of pressure just from the impactful stuff that we do every day. And you can imagine the demand on a Muay Thai or a boxer or a combatant athlete. Another great exercise to alleviate the pressure and to work on end ranges of motion.